let this video show that you don't know what you know. Okay, so you saw me play the ukulele, enough of that. I'm Ukulele J Barbecue, and I am excited today to release this video that I've been working on for a long time. A lot of people have messaged me, gotten DMs on Instagram, comments here on YouTube saying, when are you gonna release the video on the rolling knife sharpener? Because I did release a little teaser talking about a video that I would be making, which is today, that has taken me hundreds of hours of research. I'd like to admit them as defense exhibits Alpha and Bravo. To come to the conclusion that I did find the original rolling knife sharpener. I'm not through with my examination. Sit down. But anybody today that says they're the original rolling knife sharpener is not telling you the truth. You snotty little bastard. Now, they may be the original rolling knife sharpener for the design they have, but when it comes to a rolling knife sharpener that you place a blade against or in and you roll the sharpener back and forth that sharpens the blades, the original knife sharpener was done way back many years ago before anybody even knew what a rolling knife sharpener was that's watching this video. And in this box right here and behind this box, I have the original rolling knife sharpeners. But before I show you them, we need to talk about the history we need to understand how this came to be, who the individual was that I want to make sure gets the credit that he deserves for inventing the original rolling knife sharpener that set off the race for other people when they got this sharpener to modify it and then make it into what is today's rolling knife sharpener that we all know and some of us love. Now, the one thing I want to tell you is that I did hundreds of hours of research I searched the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. I searched the European Trademark Office, which actually referenced the patent in the United States. For those that think that, you know, this may have been invented in Europe or somewhere else, it wasn't. It was here in the U.S. And it was then modified by some other people. And in addition to that, I'm going to talk about the history and the genealogy of the individual because there's a war hero in this story that was very cool that I came across. And this story to me is absolutely fascinating. And the time that I spent researching this was on my own. Nobody paid me for this. This isn't tied to a company. This was because I asked a company specifically that they claimed that they were the original one knife sharpener. Did they in fact copy or use or modify this patent in any way? And they refused to answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers. I want the truth. I'll leave it at that. So without further ado, let's get into the details on the original rolling knife sharpener right now. Now I'm gonna jump around a little bit so you have to follow me because this is not a scripted video. I don't read off a teleprompter on my videos and what you hear coming out of my mouth is right out of the brain. So good or bad, that's how I work. Now, I have all the empirical evidence right here. These are the patents, these are the filings, these are things that people submitted uh, referring to the original patent. And so first I'm gonna talk about the European patent that was filed and this is ep 9982 a as an alpha one. You can look it up. This was from the European Patent Office, and this is a patent that was applied for in 1983 and was granted in 1986. Now, what is significant about this patent, and I'm gonna read you, is this patent actually refers to the original US patent. This says that this is a rolling knife sharpener placed on a support and compromising of two rollers with springs bearings against one another of identical dimensions and having essentially the same access. Now, for those of you that know about the rolling knife sharpener today, and we'll show you some pictures in a bit, that describes what people are thinking about what they see today. But what it's actually describing also is a device that was invented long before 1986. It says on their adjacent sides, the rollers have conical toothed rings with mesh in which at least one of the adjacent surfaces, the teeth, are made of durable abrasive material. The blade of the sharpening knife is inserted between the two toothed crowns and the latter being separated by an appropriate gap. The sharpening effect is obtained thanks to the relative movement of the surface of the teeth and the tooth crowns with respect to the blade of the knife pulled or pushed between them while the sharpener rolls on its support. So with that being said, you can kind of see where we're going with this. Now that was a European patent in 1986. In addition to that, it refers to several other patents that we'll talk about that were here in the United States. And one of the most important things 
is that you can patent something in another country, even if it was copied in another country, unless there's actually been an international patent filing and that office in that country recognizes the international patent, they will then deny the patent being applied for because it violates the intellectual property laws of that international patent. Now, let me tell you something. International patents are damn near impossible to enforce unless you're Apple or some mega company with billions of dollars. Myself invented a product. It got knocked off in China very quickly and it was on Alibaba. Now, because Alibaba touched the United States, I was able to get my attorney and we were able to do a takedown order and get that removed. They hadn't actually produced the product, but they copied my box. They had pictures of it. They were actually selling it online, but they hadn't made it yet, which means somebody at the factory saw my product in the box and everything. They even used my name, idiots. It was very easy to prove that this was my product and we got it taken down. That is how you have to protect your product. And I could not afford, nor did I want to pay for an international patent, because of course I knew if it was knocked off in China, are you going to sue China? They're going to give you a, an award for somebody in China knocking off your stuff? Absolutely not. So you just got to take your chances and hope that the countries that are really protecting of intellectual property, like the United States, uh, countries in Europe, things like that, they protect those patents so that you can continue to make your business and earn your money without others interfering and stealing that from you. And that is the idea to protect your intellectual property from the patent. Now, when they cited these patents in Europe, they actually cited various publications that went back to 1891. I mean, we're talking way before any of you watching this today were even alive or even knew what a rolling knife sharpener was. They also cited a patent in 1948, and they cited some patents in the United States from 1946, as well as 48, 58, 60, 1969, and 1976. The inventor of the original rolling knife sharpener was Willis F. Thompson, also known as W.F. Thompson. He was, in fact, the inventor of the original rolling knife sharpener that filed the patent. I actually have the proof right here. So everything that I'm telling you about is online. You can research it yourself if you wanna spend all the time I did looking into it, but I'm giving you the information so you're gonna find it a lot quicker than I did. So Willis F. Thompson actually invented the product and I'm gonna read you about this rolling sharpener because it's important you hear how this was described when it was actually created. This is a blade sharpener. It is disclosed that it is a sharpening unit rotatable mounted in a support with an upper portion thereof exposed to enable a knife blade to be reciprocated with a beveled edge maintained in contact with a side of the abrasive wheel. Okay, you guys can kind of envision this. And part of the unit is turning during such reciprocation. So it's turning as you roll it back and forth. Now this sharpener and the patent that I just told you actually is an original, but there was something before that. The patent I just told you about was patented in 1975 long before any company that is around today claims that they invented the product and were the original rolling knife sharpener because anything after 1975 definitely wasn't the original of this product that I'm gonna show you shortly and this product in the box that I'm gonna show you as well. Now this patent was on September 27th, 1975 and the inventor, Willis F. Thompson, is actually deceased and this was carried forward by his son who was a war hero and we'll talk about that in a second. That was Nelson L. Thompson. Now, Nelson L. Thompson was the son of Willis F. Thompson. I'm sure Willis F. Thompson would be very proud of his son that he carried forward his legacy and was actually an honored and medaled war hero in World War II. Now, Willis F. Thompson was born in May of 1900. He was born in a little town in Portland, Cumberland, Maine. His father was Lyman Rogers Thompson. He was 23. His mother, Luella May Dorr, was 22. Very, very young when they got married. He married Lillian May Johnson in 1925. And they were the parents of at least two sons that we know of looking at the genealogy tables that I researched. He died on July 20th, 1974. Now, Willis Francis Thompson had two children. Nathan Lyman Thompson was born in 1926 and died in 1979. And Colonel Nelson Lauren Thompson our World War II hero was born in 1927 and died in 2014. He was survived by his son, William Thompson of Denver, Colorado. The fascinating thing is, I believe I found his son who is still alive and is at a school district today teaching. I've tried to reach out to him. I've not been successful, but I am positive this is the great grandson or grandson of the inventors of this product. So I'm still gonna try to do that and hopefully I'll have a follow-up if I can reach him and do an interview on camera over Zoom, record that, and get that out to the viewers. That is my next goal when it comes to 
the continual saga of the rolling knife sharpener. Now we'll get into the rolling knife sharpener details and the patent that set it all off. Are we clear, Crystal? Now, the original rolling knife sharpener was actually patented in 1949, and it was patented by W.F. Thompson, who I just told you about. Patent number 2469797. 2469-797, 2469 you can look it up. And I wanna thank one of the viewers out there, and it was buried in hundreds of comments in my videos, and I can't remember the name, but it, you know, it was just some name, it's not the actual person's name. But if you're watching this video, you know who you are, and thank you, because your tip is what set me off on this journey. And that tip they dropped was, don't listen to these people, that's not the original knife sharpener, basically, this is the original knife sharpener, check out this patent number. And I went and looked at the patent, and I thought, God damn, this is the original Roy Knife Sharpener. I can't believe it. He was right. So one comment, and I read every comment, tipped me off that this was the original Roy Knife Sharpener. And in fact, from all accounts that I can find, this was. And then we're talking 1949, long before any other company said they invented the Roy Knife Sharpener because they didn't. So 1949, this patent number was from a device that looks like this. Now, this device is the original Roy Knife Sharpener. And if you look at it closely, we're gonna show you the actual sharpener. This patent was 1949. It was actually applied for in 1947, two years before the patent was awarded. So now we're talking back in the mid 40s when this was actually conceived by W.F. Thompson, put on paper, drawn out, and then filed with the US Patent and Trademark Office. With every patent, there must be illustrations to show the Patent and Trademark Office exactly what your concept is you also have to have a very detailed written description that describes every single component of what you made, as well as any references to other patents where you can show them you're not in violation of a patent that may come up in the patent search from the patent examiner who looks to see if you've copied anything else or if anything else is actually protected where maybe you didn't know about it, but there might be a little part of your product that's protected and therefore it's rejected and you're told you have to modify your design because it actually violates another patent. So without further ado, everybody's been waiting. I'm gonna show you the patented original rolling knife sharpener. It's called the Robo, and here it is. This is the original rolling knife sharpener. And as you can see, it has the Robo, and on both sides, it has the patent from the US Patent Office that's been issued, and this thing is absolutely incredible. This is the original rolling knife sharpener and you place your blade in here and you roll this back and forth. Now, it's a different concept of what you know from rolling knife sharpeners today. It was invented by W.F. Thompson. It has a fixed stone. You place your blade in and you roll this back and forth and it sharpens these degrees at the angle specified. Now, I didn't get into the angles. I don't really care about the angles, but it is a fixed angle. It does have a sharpening stone. Uh, it's pretty coarse, so it feels like it's maybe a, a 400 grit. And it is something that kicked off the original rolling knife sharpener today, and we'll talk about how they modified this to actually then create a new design, but it was all based out of the Robo. Now, after the Robo were some other devices that came also from Willis F. Thompson, but actually his son that carried it forward obtained a second patent. Now, with this patent came this device called the Rollet. This Rollet actually opens up and closes. It was also invented, as you can see, but he wanted something that you could actually take and put in your pocket and take it with you in the field so you could sharpen your knife out there. Pretty cool concept, and the fact that he designed this and it closes up so neatly, I just think is really awesome. And again, this is the Rollet. Now the Rollet has two patent numbers on here, and those patent numbers refer to the other patent that he created, and of course this patent, to ensure that somebody couldn't take this concept because this was his original concept, this was the new concept. So now we have two patents for two sharpeners. And this device is called the Robo Junior. The Robo Junior was the baby of the Robo. Now Willis F. Thompson was smart and decided to patent this little Robo. And here it is. This is patent number 2498018. That is the patent number that's also on the Girl Scouts sharpener as well as the patent for the Robo in order to protect both of his pieces of intellectual property. And the thing that's really cool about this is that it was filed on June 26th of 1948 and wasn't granted until 1950. So again, there was that time gap, but he had been working on this stuff for many, many years, as you can see, and gave us 
two fantastic products when it comes to functionality and the concept of the rolling knife sharpener. And so to Willis F. Thompson, I salute you. And down here below, you'll see Willis F. Thompson, who's W. F. Thompson, as well as the attorney on record at that time. Now, the company was producing these sharpeners, and that was one of the companies that made some of these products. Unfortunately, that company's gone, and so there was no way to contact anybody at that company to discuss the manufacturing of the rolling knife sharpener. Now, the one thing that's cool about this one is that this device right here, the Rollit, was actually sold to companies to produce and logo on the device. This is from the Girl Scouts of America. And this is history. I have not contacted the Girl Scouts, but I'm sure they're gonna be very interested in this device because here we go, because this is the original logo of the Girl Scouts of America. How cool is that? Now, the one thing I laughed about was that I went online and I found some vintage rolling sharpeners that looked exactly like this and exactly like this. I didn't find any exactly like this, but the ones that I found that were like this and this color were actually made in China. <laughs> they were made in China around the 1950s, 1960s. And that shows you that China was knocking us off long before we ever thought they were knocking us off today. There has been nobody I've seen to be able to prove this is not the original rolling knife sharpener. And as you can see, there are companies that took this concept, they placed the blade of the knife on the outside by moving the wheel to the outside on each side or on one side in some cases, so that you could actually roll the sharpener back and forth and hold your knife up against it. Now, of course, there was an angle here, which kind of gives me an idea, hmm, I can angle this. And you have the stone, you have the wheels. If you can really tell, let's be honest, you know that this design was taken and modified, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. It's called innovation. But what is wrong and I don't like is when companies take something and say, we invented this, but when they're asked a question, if they based it on something else that was invented and they refuse to answer the question, there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not sure why, but this is the original sharpener. And I'm sick and tired of people telling me that they have the original rolling sharpener. It was invented by this company, blah, 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 blah. The concept was not invented by the company. So let's get that straight for the record. You can comment all you want down below, but I'm gonna stick with this story because I spent the research, I did the time, I looked at the products, and I hope this shows you, and you can believe what you want, that this is the original rolling knife sharpener that has been modified and is what we now see as the new rolling knife sharpener here in the United States and other countries. And of course, China's making their own now under different names, and they've got all these different designs that are all tweaking and changing to look kind of different, but they're really the same thing. This was the concept that started it all. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. And if you have any comments, drop it down below because I'm sure a lot of comments are coming. And we'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby.